Prince Harry has quite the fan club. On the third day of their tour down under, Harry and his pregnant wife Meghan Markle arrived holding hands to meet thousands gathered on the grounds of the city's Royal Botanic Gardens on Thursday morning, Australian time. While most of the crowd could hardly contain their excitement when approached by the newlyweds, one girl in particular broke down in, very happy, tears after the 34-year-old prince pulled her in for a sweet embrace. Prince Harry just hugged me. 19-year-old India Brown told the Herald Sunday I've loved that family since I was eight and I've followed them around the world. It was just such an opportunity and I just went for it, Brown told the outlet. I didn't expect it to happen because it's actually against protocol. I said I know it's against royal protocol but can I please have a hug? Brown recounted. He hugged me and I burst into tears. He just said oh you're going to get me in trouble. Nonetheless. Meghan, 37, certainly didn't seem to mind as she too greeted a plethora of elated fans. For the appearance, which Harry and Meghan arrived 20 minutes late to, the former Suits star wore a navy dress, the same color she wore to Princess Eugenie's royal wedding on Friday, by Australian designer Dion Lean matching Manolo suede heels, and she carried Gucci's Sylvie mini chain clutch. She topped her ensemble with a Martin Grant trench coat the exact one she wore just two days ago in Sydney. After opting for a low ponytail yesterday, she returned to a bouncy blowout for the outing. Just three days into their tour, Harry and Meghan have already provided their fans with a number of memorable moments. After arriving in Dubbo yesterday, the prince greeted six-year-old Luke Vincent of Bunyang Public School and the young boy leapt into his arms for a giant hug before playfully caressing his face and tugging at his beard. As Harry laughed at the encounter, Meghan quickly came over to meet the animated young fan and was also greeted with a warm hug. Prince Harry also found a young royal fan who was wearing a shirt that read Girls Can Do Anything in Sydney, who had a striking resemblance to his wife. We feel she looks a bit like you. A person in the crowd is heard telling Meghan in a video posted by Harry underscore Meghan underscore updates on Instagram. The Duchess of Sussex replies, I was literally about to say the same thing. Harry then took a fan's phone to snap a photo of Meghan with her mini-me, a rare move for the prince, who usually adheres to the royal protocol of no autographs or selfies. Following their meeting with fans, the royal couple headed to the government house for the young Victorian leader's reception. Meghan lost her coat to participate in an event encouraging women to take up sports. After greeting fans in Melbourne, Meghan and Harry headed to a reception with local government. They'll wrap the third day of their jam-packed 16-day tour of Australia, Fiji, Tonga and New Zealand performing a beach cleanup with local schoolchildren. Kensington Palace has confirmed the news that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will welcome their first child in spring 2019. The announcement comes after months of speculation around the newlyweds, and following the Duchess' glowing appearance at Princess Eugenie's wedding. When will Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have their first baby? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will welcome their first child in spring 2019. While a due date has not been confirmed yet. Speculation has it around late March or early April. It is rumored that the couple informed the royal family of Meghan's pregnancy at the wedding of Princess Eugenie. Before the royal wedding in May 2018, Meghan's father Thomas Markle broke traditional royal protocol to speak out and say that a child will be coming soon. Around the same time, Ladbrokes made it a 4-6 chance that the newlyweds make an announcement in 2018 they are expecting their first child. When did Harry and Meghan get married? The couple tied the knot on May 19, 2018, after a smitten Harry popped the question in London last year. The wedding took place at St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle and was attended by A-list stars and watched around the world. Prince William was best man. And here is the full list of bridesmaids and page boys. The world has been awaiting the announcement of a Sussex baby eagerly. How did Harry and Meghan meet? Prince Harry and Meghan first met after being introduced by mutual pals but only announced they were together in November 2016. 
They were then spotted hand in hand for the first time while out on a date in London. At the time, Powell's said actress Meghan had virtually moved into Harry's cottage at Kensington Palace with the couple having been inseparable for weeks. On May 6, 2017, Meghan made her first public appearance as a royal girlfriend when she proudly watched Prince Harry playing polo in Berkshire. Then in September, the pair were pictured together in Toronto as they attended the Invictus Games with Meghan's mum Doria. When did Prince William and Kate Middleton have their first child? The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge announced they were expecting their first child in December 2012, a year and eight months after they were married at Westminster Abbey. The announcement had come earlier than is traditional as Catherine was admitted to hospital with hyperemesis gravidarum. Prince George was born on July 22, 2013. Their second child Princess Charlotte was born on May 2, 2015. Their youngest aunt, Prince Louis, was born on St. George's Day, April 23. The Duchess of Sussex stepped out for her first solo engagement as a royal today, and she also marked a very important anniversary. A year ago today, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made their first public appearance together at a wheelchair tennis match at the Invictus Games in Toronto, Markle's former home base. Prior to that, the only confirmation we had of their romance was a statement from Kensington Palace in November 2016. The first official photos of the now Duke and Duchess of Sussex out together were filled with adorable PDA, cheeky smiles, and genuine warmth. Harry and Meghan looked besotted with one another, and they still do. For Meghan, in particular, the past year has been filled with dramatic changes. Back in September 2017, Meghan was still an actress on Suits and a resident of Toronto, where the show filmed. She still had an Instagram account which she used regularly, and her lifestyle blog, The Tig. She was also a Twitter user, and regularly posted photos of her friends, vacations, and work life on social media. But on November 21, 2017, Meghan's normal life changed forever when it was reported that the future Duchess had officially moved to London. At the same time, it was reported that she finished all of her filming commitments on Suits, and was moving to England permanently. Days later, on November 27, 2017, Meghan and Harry announced their engagement. The news was revealed on Kensington Palace's social media accounts, along with a photo from the couple's first public appearance together at the Invictus Games just two months earlier. Later that same day, Meghan and Harry spoke to the BBC about their plans to marry, and it was already clear the actress' life had changed dramatically, and that really loves Prince Harry. The very next day, on November 28, 2017, the USA Network revealed that Meghan would officially be leaving Suits at the end of Season 7. Breaking with royal tradition, Meghan spent Christmas with the royals, proving that she was already considered a part of the family. The Queen reportedly waived her rule regarding only spouses attending the festive celebrations, allowing Meghan to attend as Harry's fiancé. Shortly after Christmas, in early January 2018, Meghan deleted her online presence, including lifestyle website The Tig, her Instagram, and her Twitter account. As she was about to officially join the royal family, she appeared to be making more of her personal life private, in keeping with her soon-to-be husband's own practices. Excitement about the royal wedding consumed the first few months of 2018, with Meghan and Harry tying the knot at Windsor Castle on May 19. In a custom Givenchy gown, Meghan officially became the Duchess of Sussex. The former actress incorporated many American touches into the royal wedding, signaling that she has not forgotten her heritage. Almost a month after the royal wedding, Meghan made her very first solo outing with Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Harry's grandmother. The duo appeared to get along very well, and their outing, without any other members of the royal family, showed the immense amount of faith the royals already had in Meghan. A slew of royal events later, Meghan is attending her first solo event as a royal, exactly one year after she first stepped out publicly with Prince Harry. With her and Harry's first royal tour due to star next month, during which they'll travel to Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga, 
it's clear that the Duchess of Sussex's life will continue to evolve rapidly. But her first year in the royal spotlight proves Meghan will handle every new change with aplomb.